Hey folks, this is Matt once again, and uh, yeah, the title there's probably going to be something like Shout Factory or Scream Factory Kicks Ass or something like that. Just letting you guys know sort of the recent news that, uh, believe me, I didn't find out. A lot of people let me know. For example, The Real Sketch Man, uh, Brandon, uh, Campbell Fan 22 uh, Freddy3911, Cropsy 2008 um, they let me know on things so where to start now basically Shout Factory ATA Stream Factory I've been really impressed with <clears throat> because of the DVD and Blu-ray producers those are guys that I actually look forward to and there's a lot of stuff I would love to get from them and there's stuff I have some of them thanks to a great guy on there, Dustin. Like he got me the They Live. Sorry. They got, he got me the They Live, which was excellent DVD. Although I will admit, I wish they had an interview with Roddy Piper on the They Live DVD. I don't understand why they didn't get a Roddy Piper interview. The guy loves talking about They Live. I know he would have done in interviews, but, you know can't win them all, but it's this is kind of confusing why they didn't get him. <clears throat> but so far, <clears throat> they did Halloween 2, which I really enjoy. I have that one, and Halloween 3. I don't have the fun house. I don't know, maybe one day, but they are pretty spendy. They're like 20, 25 bucks for each one. I would get one. I would get the fun house, just to give the fun house another look, but not anytime soon. Uh, Terror Train. I have the bare bones DVD, so they'll probably never go down in price. But if I ever did, sure, I'd get the Terror Train, the fun house. They live. I have. Then in December, you have Death Valley, which I don't think I've ever seen Death Valley. So I don't know. And then the Island, which I wanted to get the Island, but. I don't know, it has no features, and again, 20 25 bucks. I remember liking the film. That's the one with Michael Caine, but I don't know if I should spend 20 25 bucks on it. Death Valley, I would like to give a look. Deadly Blessing, that's the one Wes Craven directed. Uh, the Nest, that one I really look forward to. That one got pushed back to February, because there were some audio issues they wanted to fix. But yeah, Death Valley and the Island comes out in December. Deadly Blessing comes out in January. In February, you have... Apparently, February 19th, you have The Nest and Prison. And then a double bill of Terror Vision, The Video Dead. All those would be interesting. I'm a big fan of The Nest, and I don't, unfortunately, own The Nest. So, I would like to get The Nest. Prison, that's another really good one. I don't know how the hell I'm going for all this, but... Let's see, one day maybe the fun house, uh, Death Valley, the island, I would give it a shot. Uh, the Nest, Prison. I think Terror Vision, the video Dead, they're actually going to be on the same one, I believe. It's like Terror Vision slash Video Dead, I believe. I saw a picture of that. Again, that's all February. And then to be announced, the release date, but they are doing it. There's Phantasm 2. There's The Town of Dread Sundown. There's a film called The Evictors. From Beyond, which is that one, you know, Phantasm 2, thankfully, I have the box set from overseas, thanks to good guy out there, Ben, um, which has features, so, uh, you know, but a lot of people don't have it, so that's cool for Phantasm 2. From Beyond does have a really good DVD, but, hey, they want to do it, that's fine. The Vampire Lovers, The Incredible Melting Man, The Godsend, Schizoid. X-Ray, I think that's also known as Hospital Massacre or something like that. Scanners 2 and Scanners 3, that'd be interesting. Scanners 2, Scanners 3, I would like to get that. Uh, I remember liking Scanners 2, and I don't remember much on Scanners 3, but I would like to get that. Here's some new ones I'm really excited about. And actually, one I'll show, because I have it on VHS... I can remember where I put it. Oh. 
Uh, if Kentucky, Tutty, or Tutty, Kentucky Container is watching, he actually did a video. He talked about how he saw this film and he liked it. This is coming to the DVD Blu-ray. The Vagrant. Yes, with Bill Patch in the film. Directed by Chris Wallace, who I think this is the second film he did after The Fly 2. And I don't know if he did many more films, but this is sort of a horror comedy with Bill Paxton, Malcolm, not Malcolm, uh, Michael Ironside, and Marshall Bell, The Vagrant, which I had a lot of fun with. That's cool. This is the end of DVD Blu ray. Hopefully, features. I mean, I. Granted, the island doesn't have features, and since that doesn't have features, who knows how many of these films will actually get features. But, you know, to have this on DVD, that'd be pretty cool. I wonder if they'll get, like, Chris Wallace and Bill Paxton and Mike Ironside, who knows. And then also, this one I look forward to, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but The Horror Show. Yes, House 3, also known as The Horror Show, which I'm actually a fan of. I know not everybody's a fan of it. Last one with Lance Hamilton and Brian James. Directed by the late... How did I forget his name? Unfortunately, he's passed away. The director, James Isaac. He's the same guy who also did Jason X, Skinwalkers, and Pig Hunt. Which I actually don't mind Pig Hunt, despite the title. But, yeah, he unfortunately passed away in 2012. May of 2012, actually, so that's too bad. Because he didn't, you know, he didn't even get a chance to talk about this film or anything. And um, That's too bad, because I like Jason X. I have fun with it. I thought it was a fun movie. I like the horror show. I could do, I could do without Brian James' annoying laugh. <laughs> Whatever the hell it was. I could deal without that. That's my problem with the film. But I thought Lance Emerson did a really great performance. I I like that sort of story that's like Shocker. Although I will say I like Shocker more. Or The First Power, although I do like The First Power more. Or Destroyer is that same type of plot. You know, a killer that just killed and comes back. I, was, I like that kind of story. I thought it had some really good practical effects, especially the unrated version. Which I tried to post clips one time and got blocked by MGM, even though it was never in the U U.S. That one I really wanted to get. That one I will definitely be getting. I hope they get the unrated version. Okay. Because I do have the unrated version, but to have it on DVD Blu-ray, that would be nice. Um, so the horror show and the vagrant I really look forward to. So, again, right off the bat, what is it? Maybe the fun house. Maybe The Island, maybe Death Valley, The Nest, Prison, Terrorvision Video Dead, Time to Dress Sundown will be interesting. Uh, Scanners 2, Scanners 3, The Horror Show, The Vagrant, 20, 25 bucks a piece. Uh, damn. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But, uh, <clears throat> damn, I close up. But there's been other announcements as well. The Shell Factory itself have actually Shout Factory is actually going to be releasing I think in February or so uh, Army of One aka the Joshua Tree the Dolph Lundgren film uh, which I like I want to redo all those Dolph Lundgren films anyway but <clears throat> uh, Army of One also known as the Joshua Tree that's going to be released and it's going to have like commentary of the director Vic Armstrong I think it's going to have an interview with Dolph Lundgren. And that film had two different endings, and it's going to have both endings. So that one I really look forward to. Um, I guess this Friday, or I don't know when you'll see this, but last Friday they announced, a lot of people let me know on this, they announced six more titles. They announced The Fog, of course the original, The Burning, The Howling, Life Force, Day of the Dead, and Night of the Comet. Um, although, to be honest, I'm not the most excited about some of them because 
I'm not going to rag on Chow Factory, believe me. Uh, you know how I am. You know how I rant on stuff and rave and, and fucking complain and cry and, and say, fuck this. But I can't do it for this company only because, not even only, they're doing a really good job with a lot of stuff. If this helps keep them in business, then I'm totally fine. And there's a lot of people who really would like these. Like, the thing is with me, The Fog, The Howling, Day of the Dead, I have those on DVD, and they're really good DVDs. Like, the Day of the Dead DVD is really good. It has a commentary, has a great documentary to it. Um, the Fog, I have the DVD of The Fog, has a commentary, has some really good featurettes on the film. And plus, John Carver's not really a big fan of The Fog, so I don't know what more he'd talk about, but... You know, I thought the DVD they had, but who knows, if maybe they'll have more features, I don't know, or for people who are big Blu-ray people, you know, you'll get them on Blu-ray. And the same with The Howling, like, I have, I'm not the biggest fan of The Howling, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest fan of that movie. Good special effects. I, I have the DVD, it has, like, a commentary and has a lot of good features as well. Um, but Life Force... That's a film I would like to give another shot, so maybe I would give that a chance. The Burning, I don't have The Burning, so maybe that would be a chance to have The Burning. Um, the one I'm really excited for on this list is Night of the Comet, because uh, I reviewed that film in October. I really look forward to Night of the Comet. I really do. Hopefully with features. Because <clears throat> I think at one time there was going to be a special edition of Night of the Comet, or at least that some of them wanted to do features. I know... I think Kelly Maroney is someone wanting to do a sequel. I hope they get them to do interviews or a commentary. I hope so. I mean, we'll see, but I really do hope so. I really do. But who knows? I mean, every film, like I said, The Island with Michael Caine, is, that's Scream Factory, and that doesn't have features. I know at one time uh, there's an interview with a guy saying that every film is going to have special features. Obviously, that's not the case if... Again, the island is bare bones, but I guess I can't really blame him on that because I think the director's passed away. Michael Caine is not going to talk about the film. Neither is David Warner. You ever see David Warner do a lot of interviews? So it's like, who else are they going to get? The the guy who held the you know who was on set giving people coffee. So you know, I guess that's understandable. So hopefully it's not like that with some of these other films, but who knows? But either way, you know. I still say Shout Factory and Scream Factory are kicking ass because even I'm not the most excited about all these releases like the Fall Out or Day of the Dead because I have the really good DVDs of them already. They still have, you know, Night of the Comet. The Burning seems interesting. I wonder if they get any interviews or anything like that. I mean, who knows? They could be bare bones. And it's like, well, I don't have the film, so maybe, but it's a lot of money. But uh, I've also heard from uh, many people that there is going to be a Blu-ray slash DVD of I Come in Peace, also known as Dark Angel. There was a rumor that Dolph Lundgren would do a commentary, but from what I understand, that's not the case. But that hopefully at least there will be an interview. Although, to be honest, I would really love the Dolphin and commentary, but that seems very unlikely now. I don't know why, um, but hopefully an interview. Uh, it'd be nice to have that on Blu-ray, but please give some features, okay, please. Get Brian Benben. -Ben. What's he doing? He's not really doing much. Sad to say. Maybe the director, Matthias Hughes. I really hope that's the case. You know, I mean, Grand, the dream would be for Dolph to do a commentary. I mean, fuck, he did a commentary for Universal Soldier Regeneration. Let him do a commentary for this. But at least an interview would be cool. And hopefully it's an interview. I mean, they did it for Red Scorpion Synapse did, so who knows. But who knows what will happen. Who knows what the future of that. I don't even think they've officially announced it. Like, someone told me about and You saw it, like... If you go to Icon Peace on IMDb and you look at distributors, this is, like, Shop Factory 2013. So they didn't... They haven't officially announced it. They'll probably announce it on one of these... I think, like, every Friday they announce stuff. But, uh... We'll see. 
So hopefully that's the case. Like out of all of them, that's the one I'm looking forward to most is I come with peas. Hopefully with features. I don't know if it will have features. I mean, that could be a rumor too, but I hope so. I really hope so. Please shout factory, stream factory, please. Um, yes, I would like to see that one day on Blu-ray, you know, with features. But A, that's not everyone's cup of tea. I understand that. And B, that's like, uh, don't hold my breath. But shout factory, stream factory, you guys kick ass. You do an excellent job. And, uh, definitely look forward to what you guys have next.